Hello, sixth graders. Today we're going to talk about the order of operations. When we talk about operations, we're talking about stuff you've been doing for a long time. Adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. So there's a specific order that we use when we talk about these. When we have a problem, sometimes we might have an easy problem like, let's just say 1 plus 2. We've been doing that for a very long time. 1 plus 2 equals 3. But what happens when we have like uh, 1 plus 2 times 3? What does that equal? Well, there's a couple different ways to think about it. One is, well, 1 plus 2 equals 3 times 3 equals 9. And you're going to see this. I see this on social media all the time where people post things like that that are wrong. So... What do you mean that's wrong? Well, we have an order of operations, and sometimes people refer to it as PEMDAS, or please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. The first thing we need to do is parentheses. Is there anything in parentheses? No, there's not. How about E, excuse for uh, uh, exponents? There's no exponents. My is multiplication. Is there any? Yes, there is. There is multiplication right here. So that means I have to do the multiplication part first. So if I were going to do this in steps, I would say that I need to do 1 plus 2 times 3 is 6 equals 7. So you can see if I just did that addition part first here, I would have got an answer of 9. But because we have a specific order of operations, uh, that changes everything. So uh, a problem like this that seems really easy, 1 plus 2 times 3, the answer is not apparent because you have to follow the order of operations. All right, let's try another one. So this one looks a little scary. Let's try this. It's not, though, because we have our order of operations PEMDAS. So please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, uh, addition, subtraction. I know we talked about this in class. For these guys, multiplication and division are in a group, and uh, it's whichever one comes first. And these guys, addition and subtraction comes first, so whichever one comes first. So it could be, please excuse dear my Sally aunt, or please excuse dear my Aunt Sally. So there's a group here with addition, multiplication and division, and a group here with addition and subtraction. So let's look at this problem. What do we got to do first? Um, I do have parentheses, so let's look and see what I can solve in parentheses. I'm just going to write this over again, 30 divided by what's going on in this parentheses. Well, I'll solve 2 at once because I know what 2 to the third power is 8. And so I could write this 7 plus 8 times 6. What do I am going to do next? Well, I still have that parentheses. 30 divided by 15 times 6. So what do I need to do next? Well, I'm back up here. 30, do I do div divided by or do I multiply? It's, it's my dear, not dear my, but remember we just talked about that a second ago. I have to divide first because it comes first left to right. So 30 divided by 15 is 2 times 6, sorry, 2 times 6 equals 12. So I can take a problem that looks scary like that, but if I just use PEMDAS, if I stick with the order of operations, I can solve it no problem. So I hope you enjoyed this assignment. We're going to use this a lot, a lot, a lot for the rest of our lives. So have fun.